our music, Native People's Music Rocks. Anyone who fears for the future of rock and roll is advised to download the latest Mickey Free album, American Horse, and to get tickets for his forthcoming appearance at the Hard Rock Calling concert in London's Hyde Park. The blood splattered in the snow banks. 2010 will be the third successive year this remarkable musician will pretty nearly have set Hyde Park of fire with his gobsmacking guitar playing and sly, soulful vocals. And on the strength of such earlier albums as Gypsy Cowboy, he received a Native American Music Award, or NAMI, as Best Male Artist of the Year. In fact, Mickey Free has been making remarkable music of many kinds for Donkey's years. As a member of Shalimar in the mid-80s, he won a Grammy and contributed to the gazillion-selling Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. He later significantly enlivened recordings by the likes of Miss Janet Jackson in her big-haired superstar days and left a lot of rock fans speechless in the 90s as a member of Crown of Thorns. More recently, he's been in the studio trading fret-melting licks with ZZ Top's Billy Gibbons. Beginning with 2003's The Sun Chaser, this descendant of Cherokees and Comanches decided to follow the red path of Native American flute music. He helped launch Native Music Rocks and Seminole Star Search to help make audiences aware of the exceptional musical talent on the reservations. Here, Mickey Free and his American Horse Trio vividly evoke the spirit of Zeppelin, Hendrix, Cream, and other classic rockers with blistering intensity and mad skill on his new Cargo Records album, American Horse, and at Hard Rock Calling 2010. I gotta be a rock star.